to animate on a light motion. No voiceover because I'm too lazy. I'll be animating this doober right here. Step 1. Getting your character slash rig. You want to separate their body parts. You can be as extra as you want like separating eye parts like the eye whites, pupils, sparkles, etc. But I mostly stay pretty basic. You basically only have to separate the parts you're actually gonna animate. There's no need to separate the leg parts if you're not gonna animate the legs unless it's a body sheet. And you're gonna use it for a bunch of videos. Just in case you know. Step 2, actually animating, and also the basics. Select your rig parts and insert them into the project. Now that you've got your goober, it's time to start prepping them so you can start tweening them. Go to move and transform. This button of course allows you to move the part around. Though if you double tap it, it changes and now allows you to move the pivot point or anchor point around. The pivot point is the central point at which the part moves at. Now just finish up moving the pivot point on the different parts of your character. Keyframes are very important because they're the thing that actually makes the movement of the animation. As you can see, I made it so the head moves down with the keyframes. Though I don't want it to move so robotically, it looks like it's moving as if it's on a straight line. And that makes it be boring and honestly unnatural to look at. So I'll be using graphs. <laughs> graphs are really difficult to explain. But basically graphs in animation are things like ease in, ease out, and even bounces. It's very easy to understand once you actually use it with your own hands, however. So please actually try it out yourself. They are extremely useful and make your animations much smoother and more lifelike and more bouncy. For this animation, I'm gonna use the bounce graph, which is for premium, but you can use them without paying if you watch an ad, however. And now just go wild with it. Tween your heart out. A lot of other functions in a light motion are extremely self-explanatory, so I won't treat you like a baby and tell you how to use every single thing in the app, figure out everything yourself, or look up tutorials. That's what I did. 